I'm here with West Texas A&M, coming off a tough loss in third round, basically the Sweet 16 of the men's soccer tournament. I'm here with head coach Bush Law, Bush Law, uh, sorry, Butch Loffler, I'm sorry, and Tom Miles, their goalkeeper. Coach, could you just take me through on his thoughts on a double overtime, a match that went to a shootout? Well, first of all, congratulations to uh, Coach Sullivan's team today. They played very well, I thought. And, uh, well, I thought our team played very well tonight as well. You know, it was disappointing, you know, to give up the, the own goal with about five minutes to go in regulation and uh, get defended so well and everything. And to give that away, it was disappointing. And then in the overtime periods, especially the first one, we had some chances to, to win it. We weren't good enough and clean enough to, to make that happen. And to be fair, I, I would have put money on us to win the PKs today. I really would have. So, Disappointed for our team, uh, but very pleased and proud of our team on the other side of the performance of the season. No, absolutely, some clutch ones. Tom, I just want to hear a little bit. And you played fantastic out there in the first half. I thought they were all over you on the first half, made some saves that really kept your team in the game. But talk to me about the halftime adjustments you guys made in order to really put the pressure on them almost the entire second half, and you guys came back, took the lead. Yeah, well, we, we noticed a few, a few ways we could possibly exploit them. And going to the half time because we did find ourselves in the back foot quite a bit, but um, coach made some good adjustments which, which allowed us to open the game up a bit more, um, get some wider players involved, um, and really find some gaps in the pitch which which there, which there were, and we weren't just we weren't finding them in the first half. Um, so credit to coach and all the boys for executing well, um, coming out in that second half and to put in a good shift which pushed the game all the way. Fantastic, thank you. Coach, yes, sir. you always think of this year's team, you, you know, you think about the guys coming back next year, but we know every year is unique. Every team is a unique team, everything has that. Why have you enjoyed coaching this year's team? Why have I enjoyed coaching this year's team? First of all, they're really, really fantastic student athletes from front to back. It's been a pleasure to work with, to come to work with every morning. You know, the attitude has been fantastic with the players. Competitors, they wanted to win, they wanted to compete. Um, and, you know, it's a special group, really. You know, and, you know they, they had this never say die attitude. You know, kind of halfway through the season, we had a little bit of an injury crisis. And I'm not sure. You know, we still figured out ways to, to eke out results and keep going. And, uh, I think that was a big tribute to the players you know, to, to maintain that belief that they could get it done and stuff. It's been a good group, fun group, and like I agree, you know, everything every year is a little different. In, re in retrospect, it's really this is a pretty young team. Um, you know, it's Stefan being a senior, and Callum being a senior, and Marshall, but all three of really, those are our three seniors. You know, we got kids coming back, but um, seniors as well. So it's you know, a lot of young guys making lots of contributions to that. So um, we're excited about the future. I know Well, thank you, Coach, and thank you, Tom. I appreciate it.